All right, so I did the same process. I created um, this shape pattern and I did the same rotation process around the axis. Um, but what I did do, I did them a little bit more individually and moved them one at a time um, so that I could line up this line here with the point of the flower. Uh, if I did, just did the control D, it wasn't um, spot on. So um, depends how accurate you want to be, but I would suggest that. So then I have locked it into place and then I've created a layer five. And so what I'm going to do now is just start the outline. This one um, is a bit different, this process that we're going to do. Um, you'll be using a masking tool for this, so that'll be interesting. So I'm going to start here with the pen tool. I have to be on the right layer. And I should zoom in so I can see. Okay, so with the pen tool, I'm going to click and then I'm going to click here and drag again like we've been doing. And I'm going to click here. And so what you can see is it's trying to um, fill what it sees as a shape. So I'm just going to make that shape invisible and I'm going to continue on. And then I'm going to go over here around the outside. And I'm just going to go behind here so I know that um, there'll be no gaps in the design. And then I'm going to follow the shape around here and take it back to here. Now I'm just going to zoom in so I can actually have those lines touching and there's a reason why I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so now I have the shape there. Um, so all it is is lines now. It's not a shape that I can fill. I want